Now, a few weeks ago, I was taking a class in Kerala and in the break, a student comes to me and says, Sir, when I'm doing the question bank of a subject, I'm actually getting a lot of questions correct. But when I do the grand test, I can't seem to get the questions correct, even of the same subject. What is this problem? Why am I unable to figure out the right answer? What's wrong with my preparation? I feel this is a very relevant question that you should understand. And most of us make this mistake. So let's find out what we should do. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Dr. Basili, a full-time orthopedic surgeon and a faculty of orthopedics. If you're new to my channel, I make videos about student life, uh, study strategies, life hacks, and generally how to be productive and happy. Anyways, so this is her scenario. She says that she can get the questions correct if she's doing it from the question bank, but she's unable to do the same questions correct when it comes in the grand test. So what is this problem with the grand test? How can she fix it? You see, this is a challenge that I want you to understand. See, when you're doing uh, the question bank of a particular subject, you have to understand that the questions in the question bank are arranged in a particular order of that topic. So when you start solving those questions, you inherently know that these questions are from this particular subject number one and from this particular topic number two. So any kind of question that they're asking, if it's a diagnosis wala question, you know that the answer is the pathology or the condition or the disease that you're studying. So you're automatically biased, always biased towards that answer. And this acts as an assistant or someone who's giving you a hint or nudging you to the right answer. So you don't tend to think out of the box. You don't tend to think what the examiner wants to know from this because all the questions are arranged linearly from easy to difficult, but all of them are from the same topic. Now, when you come to grand tests, you see 200 or 300 questions that are different from all other subjects that you have to prepare for. But not only that, they are randomized in terms of the subject. So you will not get a few sets of questions together. You will not get five questions from orthopedics and 10 questions from gynecology. You will get questions interspersed among each other. So you'll be attempting one question from orthopedics, immediately following which you might get a question from anatomy and then a question from dermatology. So all of these are different questions. So every time you read a question, your brain has to go into a reset mode and try to start analyzing, number one, what this question is all about, which subject it belongs to, and do you have the information of that subject and which topic of that subject should you know or recall to be able to answer that question. And to make things complicated, they can throw in an image or two from different subjects. They can throw an image from radiology and then ask you the pathology of that condition. And that is the reason you fumble getting the questions correct when you attempt grand test. And this is all the more reason why you should practice more and more grand test before going for the real exam. Because trust me friends, as many questions as you want to practice from a particular subject in a given time, at the end of the day, you will always be biased towards that subject. You know ki yehi subject puchra hai, to iska hi answer hoga. And this is a very common mistake. So please try to avoid it. So how can you avoid it? Number one, give as many grand tests as you can and try to analyze the answers to questions without judging yourself too harshly for getting them wrong. Don't feel bad if you did not know the answer, but learn how to analyze what the examiner wanted from you. Because if you start thinking like how the examiner is thinking, you will be in a very, very good place. Number two, you can use custom modules and try to randomize the subjects that you select and practice questions from that. See, at the end of the day, answering the MCQs is an art and answering the MCQs with the limited amount of knowledge that we have is the the art that we are looking for to crack this exam. So at the end of the day, this is what I want you to take away from this video. Don't worry too much about the knowledge that you have. Worry how you will use that or apply that to answer the MCQs on the exam. So be more MCQ oriented as and when you're approaching the exam rather than information oriented. You can be information oriented early on in your preparation, but as you go and proceed near your exam, you should start practicing more and more questions that are randomized from every subject and every topic. And this gives you the edge that you might not have before going for the exam. And just doing the questions from the question bank will probably give you the wrong idea about your preparation. So if you like the video, hit the like button and you know the drill subscribe and if you want to ask me anything please do it in the comments and i will try to answer it i will see you on the other side till then take care bye bye